Apple first introduced the iPad in April of 2010, and the device I'm holding here is very different from the much slimmer, faster model that is available now. But it was the original iPad that caused the single biggest stir, and what Apple will want to do when they announce new models is to try and build on the product that defined an entire category. With the first iPad, we didn't even have a 3G connection. It was only Wi-Fi. It's far fatter than this model that is an iPad 3, and we can expect today's iPad 5 to be even slimmer still. But it's the processor, the camera, and the screen that really have improved as Apple have improved the overall iPad offer. And the other key thing that they have done is to produce a smaller iPad mini. It's what's become the most popular iPad because of that smaller form factor that people find more portable. But as you can see from these four models, what Apple hasn't done is revolutionized what was already a very successful product. They've seen other people make more successful tablets and start to take a big chunk of their market share. Today, what they need to do is show that Apple can still innovate, that the company that produced a product that defined a market can still do it. If they can do that, then they will surprise every commentator in the industry, and they will also make sure that Apple is the tablet people want for Christmas. <laughs>